Welcome training campers. In today's video, you will learn how to use a Trances Electronic Chart Display and Information System, ECLIS. This is the Trances Navi Sailor 4000, ECLIS Familiarization, Module Number 6. The Navi Sailor 4000, ECLIS Familiarization, Module Number 6 is about the route monitoring. The content of this module will show you how to monitor the route. The user will familiarize with the route monitoring feature that includes gathering a voyage progress information using the ECLIS functions. The subtopics included here are the following monitoring a route and own ship features. On the next slide is a short video clip about the Navi Sailor 4000 ECLIS route monitoring. Route monitoring. The content of Via monitoring panel. One option for activating the route monitoring function of a route that has been previously created on the route planning panel is to select the required route from the drop down menu on the route monitoring tab of the monitoring panel. via Route Editor panel. Another option for activating voyage monitoring is to load the required route and then select the monitoring button on the route planning panel. The currently monitored route will be displayed in red on the chart panel. Editing monitored route. While sailing on a monitored route, you can load and edit it on the route planning panel. If you want to save the route, you must confirm that the current schedule will be unloaded from monitoring, or alternatively, save the route under a new name. Unload Route Plan To unload a monitored route, activate the Unload drop-down menu of the Route Monitoring tab on the Monitoring panel and unload Route and Schedule or just the Schedule if the time frame is irrelevant. Route data via control panel. One option to obtain information on the sailing along the route is route data on the display panel on the control panel. Route data via conning panel. Another way to display the data of the monitored route is at the left sidebar via the conning panel. There you select the route tab. Active route display. You can change which information about the active route is displayed in the monitoring task using the Route Monitoring tab. The following information can be displayed on the chart. Cross-track distance Radius Waypoint names Wheel over lines Sun, Moon Course, Leg, Speed Heading mark Reference points. Remarks.
Route Alerts. The Route Monitoring tab can also be used to configure the route alerts. You can activate, deactivate, or change the values for the end of route alert, the out of cross track distance alert, the out of schedule alert, the waypoint approach alert, or the off leg course alert. When a route alert is triggered, it is displayed in the alerts. Next Waypoint function. When you activate the monitoring of a route, the function Next Waypoint on the monitoring panel will be activated as well. If you go to the Route Data menu on the Multi Display panel or the Route Display via the left sidebar, this functionality provides you with route data to a manually or automatically selected waypoint. ETA Calculator You can calculate the ETA and time to go for any waypoint while sailing along an activated and scheduled route by using the calculator in the route data display of the control panel. You can enter the desired planned speed of proceeding to the specified point for the planned time of arrival, PTA calculation. Alternatively, enter the desired planned time of arrival PTA to the specified point for the speed to go STG calculation. Ship symbol. The own ship can be displayed as a symbol or by contour. Change the settings on the route monitoring page of the monitoring panel. The contour will only be displayed when the scale is appropriate to the ship dimensions. Own ship vectors. There are two motion vectors. Course over ground vector, motion vector over the ground. Heading vector, vector of motion relative to the water. It is possible to display the two vectors at the same time. Orientation. You can switch the own ship symbol display orientation along the ship's true motion vector, course over ground, or along the ship's heading by the Align By on the route monitoring page. Display of Vectors To turn the display of the vectors on or off, click the buttons in the Ship group Course over Ground Vector or Heading Vector. Vector Length Values to change the setting for the motion vector length, use the Vector drop-down box in the control panel window. The length can vary from 1 to 24 minutes. The value defines the length of the displayed vector.
you can set a fixed vector length value which does not change with the chart scale. Fixed. Where to find? To display the track of a maneuver, you can activate an expected motion line, EML, of your own ship via the Show Prediction button on the Predictor page. This is found on the Precision Instruments panel from the drop-down list of the Multi-Display Panel window. The prediction points are displayed in ship symbols with current manoeuvring parameters for a period of up to six minutes and allows to spot turning tendencies. Display of prediction, channel display. By default, the outline button is not activated and all prediction points are displayed as ship symbols. Click on the Outlined button and all prediction points will be connected. Deactivate prediction. To deactivate the show prediction function, press the button again and all prediction points will disappear. Curved heading line. Curved heading lines, CHL, can be pre calculated and displayed for up to two courses via the CHL function on the Precision Instruments panel. This is found in the drop-down list of the multi-panel and curved heading lines window in the lower section of the control panel. Autopilot on off. When autopilot is set on, it is not possible to change the curve heading line settings. If the autopilot functionality is off, you can enter appropriate parameters for up to two curve headlines, such as the next course through water, radius, length of predicted vector, and delay. Data can be entered in the text field or via play mode by scrolling the trackball. Curved heading lines display. The activated curved heading line is displayed in blue and the inactive curved heading line is displayed in pink. Switch between curved heading lines. The parameters of curved heading lines can be shown via the buttons show one and or show two. You can switch between the activated curve headlines by pressing button active one two. By pressing link a curved headline can be generated for two upcoming courses.
Display of primary and secondary track history. Your past track, that is based on primary or secondary position source, can be displayed on the route monitoring page, of the monitoring panel under past track settings. The track segment, can be set into different colors, select the desired color, by clicking on the track color, selection box. Click on the side arrow to scroll the color selection box. The plot interval drop-down button, will show the pre-selected time of plotting interval. Click on it, and select the desired time, in seconds from the drop-down list. Select the desired time label, from the drop-down list, of pre-selected time label in minutes, by clicking, on time label drop-down button. Use own ship track input line, to enter the time value, which the length of the displayed own ship track will correspond to. Click on Track History drop down button. A list of date will appear. Select the desired date of the track required to be displayed. Click Focus on Track button to display the entire own ship track for the selected date on the chart panel. Tick on or off the three check boxes. Show time labels, show primary track and show secondary track position to turn on or off the display of the corresponding check boxes from the chart panel. Module 7 Thank you for watching the Trances Navi Sailor 4000. Act this familiarization, module number 6. Please do not forget, to like, share and subscribe to this channel, for more maritime training and education videos.